With your Kandinsky paper out, make sure that you fold it so that only one square is showing. Then get your crayons out. You can slide them out of the box slightly, but make sure you're only getting one crayon out at a time. As you start coloring, it's okay if you don't color inside the lines. You can color outside of the lines if you want to. What I'm doing is I'm finding some of the shapes that I created from my sound drawing and I'm filling them in using different colors, making sure that I put the color that I'm finished with back in the box as soon as I am completed with that area. As I'm working, you'll notice that I'm turning my paper a lot. That's because sometimes it can be hard for my hands to reach different parts of the paper or it might get a little bit uncomfortable as I'm trying to color. So if I move the paper to where my hand feels most comfortable, it's a little bit easier for me to color. The hand that I'm not using to color with, I'm holding the paper down. This helps it from coming up while I color and it helps me to color a little bit neater inside the spaces that I want to fill in. As I get finished up, I'm going to check over my work and make sure that I've filled in all the white spaces. If I need to go back over an area, I will do that. And as I do that, it will make that color appear a little bit darker. Going back over your work and checking it and looking for those white spaces will help ensure that you are making your neatest work. When you're all finished, put the crayons back in the box and close it and put it back in your art kit. Right now, your hands are probably feeling a little bit stiff. So go ahead and give yourself a couple of minutes to stretch those hands out. 